We are here in Pierre Marie Brisson's new studio on the outskirts of Aigues in the south of France, and it exudes a feeling of joy, uh, well being, serenity. We asked him what he found inspiring in these images, why he selected them, and how did he create Brisson's and not Matisse's. I look at Matisse as someone who played with color, especially towards the end of his life when he had health problems. He was cutting out his pieces of colored paper, and he was in his 80s. There was on his face something of a child. And I recognized myself in this expression. When I work, I always try to keep the imagination of childhood alive, as Matisse did. The feeling in his work seems to correspond to mine. The other thing was the technical aspect of it, the way he was constructing a work. Pieces of colored paper tacked to a board. It allowed him to reposition the forms. If it didn't work, he could untack and move the form and change it. It's one of the great advantages of this technique. It's like a child who's building a castle out of Legos and decides to break it up to build something else. This approach allows one to make the forms evolve in the painting, and it's quite extraordinary. Uh, Matisse. Matisse's power is very strong. How do you keep your uniqueness? First of all, one should never be afraid to go towards one's masters or towards other things he loves. Matisse is an artist I love very much. So to visit his paintings and be inspired by them is to know him better and to understand him better. And through the process of knowing him better and understanding him better, he teaches me something which I then transform. And in a way, I reconstruct it and make it mine. I make it a Pierre Marie Brisson. I have my personal way of approaching painting, my own game, if you will. And if I allow myself to use Matisse's influence, it is because there is sincerity in my love for him. You work in cycles. There's a starting point, a development, and an ending. Where are you with your Matisse cycle? At this point, I'm having fun with Degas dancers, as they are becoming Brisson dancers, while at the same time, they are influenced by Matisse. It's as if I'm cooking something, so I take a pan and I start with some onions and some garlic, salt, pepper, etc. In this case, I take Matisse's salt, Degas' pepper, and it becomes something new. It becomes a brisson. One must accept and even be proud of using the influences of other artists. Do you already have an idea about the next cycle? For the time being, I think I'm going to persevere with Matisse because there's so much more to do.